There are many reasons why Dubai is one of the most iconic cities in the world, but most essentially, the food. Loving it. Disclaimer, it doesn't matter if you're not planning to visit Dubai anytime soon. The only requirement to enjoy this video is having a passion for food and culture. I tried my best to visit as many restaurants as I could in the area of Bur, Dubai, and I have to say the experience was splendid. Interesting facts about this side of the city is that Bur, Dubai is the heart of the old city of Dubai. In here, you'll find real bazaars, traditional architecture, and authentic food spots. Something else to know is that there is a big Indian culture in this area, as for centuries people from India have migrated here. In fact, my friend from India, Shashi, told me that there are some streets here, like the Mina Bazaar, that feel exactly like India. That being said, let's get started with Calicut Paragon. As you may know, there's a big Indian culture here in Dubai and I was recommended Kalikud Paragon by a few of my friends and clients from South India and they said this is one of the best restaurants in the city for South Indian food which apparently is one of the best cuisines in India. Ooh, look at those amazing mocktails! Gosh, this place is amazing guys, I'm telling you. It's special for Malabari food and this restaurant has been ranked as India's best restaurant for coastal cuisine by Times Now Foodie Awards. I promise you, you will not leave this place disappointed or with an empty stomach. I'm ready to do something crazy. I've never had a fish curry before and that's what I'm gonna have today and I'm excited. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. We started with pandana chicken for appetizer, which is a chicken that's marinated with aromatic spices and it's wrapped in fragrant pandan leaves. It's deep fried, it's golden, it's juicy, and delicious. Nico ordered the most staple creamy mouth-watering butter chicken dish and a side of this super fluffy paratha bread that you can't have enough of. As I said earlier, I ordered a sample of fish curries and side dishes. In all honesty, the experience here was amazing. The service was also really great. So if you go to Dubai, make sure you pass by here and you ask for money. He will take good care of you. The owner approached us to thank us for being here and he told me that this is one of the most traditional desserts and he explained that this black thing that you see here... Natural sugar from palm trees, from coconuts. Mm -hmm. so they don't have natural. any additives in this entire restaurant. Yeah. All natural spices. And we got this uh, complimentary coconut pudding. And I don't like desserts, but it's, it's actually very good. Pure coconut. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pure coconut. Mm. Delicious. Our next place is Purani Delhi, an Indian restaurant with flavors from the old Delhi. Guys, this restaurant is number 15 of 8,156 restaurants in Dubai. It has five stars and is amazing. Alright guys, so we of course are fans of butter chicken, so we got two butter chicken curry dishes. One for each is our last time joined Indian food in Dubai, so we had to get what we love. Uh, we also got um, a chicken appetizer over here. We want to build on that protein. And we have naan bread, garlic bread, and just plain bread. And let's enjoy. You can't go wrong with this visit. We visited two times, we loved it, the service was amazing, and it has decent prices. Ready for another Indian restaurant adventure? Hey guys, if you want to get out of the luxurious part of Dubai and you want to enjoy the classic authentic things, this is one of the restaurants that you can go and we're having uh, Indian chips for me, tangerine sauce and also mint sauce, they're both spicy, they're both delicious and we'll show you what our main plates are going to be but so far so good. Coming up next, mint lamb with herbs, smells really good. 
spicy. Really? But it's good. Next we have a butter chicken and then we have tikka masala. Then it's on the spicy side. I love spicy. Then we have garlic bread and we have butter bread. We're super excited. Let's get on it. Alright, now we're taking a break in the middle of the day to come visit our friends from this hotel called Grayscale. We got here originally because they have an amazing happy hour deal where you buy one get one for free and they bring you this huge beers hmm. um, for half the price of what you would normally get anywhere here in Dubai. And yeah, that's how we met our friend and now we're here getting education on Indian food which I'm super grateful for. Sorry. Okay guys, I'm here with my friend Shushi. Hi. <laughs> and we are planning to eat at this restaurant at the hotel Grayscale. He's gonna tell us what he recommends you eat here. I am so grateful to have connected with such wonderful people in Dubai. We met Shushi a few days prior to this day. We all clicked instantly and had super long conversations about life. Today we came back to say hi and get a drink and he wanted to teach us more about Indian food. He recommended we go to Bukhara, a traditional Indian restaurant with a contemporary twist. It has a 4.2 rating in Tomato and everyone describes it as a place with a beautiful ambience and great food. Although we didn't try the food here, we tried one of their most delicious desserts. Okay guys, so our amazing friend Shushi recommended us to try this ice cream, which is stacho ice cream with vermicelli. Oh, vermicelli noodles. It's a little hard. Oh my god, it's like a very hard... Okay, I, want, I wanted to show you guys. It's like a very hard piece of ice cream. With this delicious dessert, we can say goodbye to Indian restaurants. And now allow me to take you to one of the cutest restaurants for Emirati food in Dubai. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello, Hello, how good are you? Morning. Hey guys, here we are at the Arabian Tea House. We're inside, we already made our order. I ordered the Arabian breakfast tray. Nico had some problems because he wanted to have a kebab or a sandwich and... It's breakfast only. Yep, something you need to know. If you want to have breakfast, you gotta come before 12.30, but if you don't wanna have breakfast and you wanna have one of their main courses, or their kebabs or sandwiches and you have to come after 12 30 so be aware of that and i also ordered karak tea which i've been dying to have let's see how that goes i'm very excited the place is very fresh even in the summer our traditional tea is the karak tea only in arabian tea house uh-huh oh really only yeah. here yes not only here but especially here okay it's very good oh you have to tell them that you can only drink it hot only yeah. hot okay yes. especially milk for us and black tea okay black tea yeah mixing with some secret for us because i need a <laughs> lot of people coming because of you <laughs> and the cardamom cardamom yeah. tea and yes. milk yeah okay and some secret bar <laughs> Yep. Yes. This is our Arabic breakfast. This is traditional in UAE. These are roast jam. These are dry zatar. This is olive oil, cheese and tomato, grilled halloumi cheese, and cream with honey, Ooh. and labna mixed olives, scrambled eggs. Yeah. They're special pancakes? A, no, this is a crafty cheese. This is a honey. Oh, that's cheese. Yeah, we take one spoon of honey and mix it with the bun of shabab. This is the name in UAE, shabab bread. Shabab bread. Yeah and the butter crafted cheese in the middle and mixing, keeping it. Wow. Ooh, different taste. Different taste. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so they're not like the American pancakes, no, no, no. guys. Thank you so, so much. From Egypt in America. <laughs> Thank you. That's so cute. Thank you so much. You guys know I wasn't going to leave Dubai without another avocado shake. <laughs> this is our second visit, guys, and we came just so Nick could have his dates and avocado shake. 
This place is definitely in my top three list for my favorite places in Dubai. The food was excellent, the service was amazing, and I have the best Instagram pictures from here. And by the way, Al Qaima is another favorite. Can't wait to show you. Hey there, we are here at a very traditional restaurant in Dubai. It is Emirati Food. The restaurant is quite neat. It's called Al Qaima Heritage Restaurant and Company, and we're very excited. So far, it seems like a very authentic experience. The ambience is really cool, like everything feels very traditional and we're loving it. Just to have like this. <laughs> oh my god! Just how I eat at home. <laughs> oh. Thank you Thank so you. much, sir. Yes, sir. Will do. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm just, when I rewatch this, I'm going to be jealous of my, my past <laughs> self. Oh my goodness, Look I'm so at hyped. That. So you have kebab, you have lamb chops, you have chicken. Chicken, lamb, everything, steak. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell it from here. And a chili, let's see if you eat that. We have tabula, guys. I love it. And I got a lamb virini, yarini. I have to learn how to pronounce that, but it looks really interesting. I've never tried it before and I wanted to challenge myself to try something new. And they also bring us amazing sauces and rice. And this is our table. Okay guys, so you have to take your shoes off to enter and they have these little cute rooms here where they, they're private and they bring you your food over here so you can um, just enjoy the true Arabic experience and then you can lay down afterwards if you want. <laughs> Plenty of room for you to take a nap after your meal. You can tell that people that run this place love what they're doing. They really want to give you a true Emirati experience. In fact, our amazing server took us upstairs to show us a unique exhibition of an antique Emirati house. This is true. Authentic. UAE. Yeah. <laughs> we know. For refreshing during the day, right? <laughs> Guys, we're so happy because people here in Dubai, like their hospitality has been the best in the world, man. The best in the world. I'm not talking about like service, you know, but how good hearted they are. They treat you like family. They treat you like family. We were just at this uh, <laughs> restaurant, Emirati restaurant. Our server was so nice, so friendly. He showed us around. He was like, I want to be your friend. I'm like, I want to be your friend too. <laughs> so we're following each other on Instagram. Sharing stories like that, it, it's priceless. Greek food. Greek? Oh, where? There. El Greco. Really? Are you down? Oh yeah, I'm down. Let's go. Alright guys, since we are doing this, ooh, this uh, video on food in Dubai, we had to come to a Greek place in Dubai because they're pretty famous and they're very delicious. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, Alright, so I got this beef gyro wrap which looks delicious. She got this salad <laughs> no it's an egyptian salad egyptian salad and i have an avocado smoothie which is my new favorite drink <laughs> Another must try in Bordeaux is this place, a hidden gem widely known for its genuine Persian food. And just so you know, we ordered like a mix for three people because we do eat a lot. This is our one meal of the day. We are getting a bunch of like barbecue uh, skewers and things like that. And they also bring sides of salads. This is a traditional Arab salad, which I love. And there are some yogurt sauces over here and dates over there for like appetizer and we're waiting for our protein we're super excited all right guys let me show you surprise surprise mixed platter for three our platter it's ours. 
so that was a very successful meal everything was delicious the service was excellent the people here are so so nice and how much was it nico 19 dollars each for a huge mixed platter for three people uh we're super full super satisfied we got like drinks like water and coke um and yeah that was awesome to finalize, I want to tell you about one restaurant that is not in Bur Dubai, but instead is inside one of the largest and most epic malls in the world, the Dubai Mall. If you're staying in Bur Dubai, simply take the metro and it will take you right inside the mall. Hey, we are at this restaurant called Beba Del. It's, they also have a, a restaurant in the mall. It has a beach view, but in here it has the fountain view at the Dubai Mall. Quite pretty, and we're going to see how's the food. So we have the cheese rolls, which are like spring rolls, and inside it has cheese. It's delicious. And these are mini empanadas that are not empanadas. It has another name. I'll put the name down below, but inside it has beef. All right, the show just finished. It's really cool. It has music and like the beautiful fountains going up and down. And yeah, and you guys can find the show every 30 minutes till 11 p.m. It's right here in the fountain in front of the Burj Khalifa, behind the Dubai Mall, which is the most amazing mall we've ever seen in our lives. It's like a three-story aquarium with sh gray white sharks and yeah. animals I can't even Restaurants. describe. Uh, bowling, ice skating. All the stores you can ever ever imagine, amazing restaurants, which by the way, great tip to see uh, the fountain show. Come to a nice restaurant because after yeah. eating, you can enjoy the show from a better view. I think it's better from the- It's a better view from up here. Upstairs. From the bridge. Level, mm -hmm, definitely. So you love it? I love it. It's like a Disneyland for adults. We're loving it. One day I read a quote that said that the gladdest moment in human life is a departure into unknown lands. And that's so true. I had an amazing time in Dubai, guys. I was so lucky to cross paths with amazing, good-hearted people <laughs> that I will always remember that are today in my DMs, saying hi, how are you, how are you doing? And that's the biggest gift that I bring with me home from Dubai. Thank you so much.